Hello, friends on YouTube. This is Winnie. I just opened a YouTube channel to share my favorite vegetarian dishes that I've learned over the years. My goal of opening this channel is to support people who want to be vegetarian. Today, I'm going to cook Chinese cabbage stew. This dish is very energy intense and filling, with cabbage, egg. Tofu and carrot in one bowl, you get lots of vitamins, minerals, proteins, and good fat. The flavor will be based on soy sauce, ginger, and green onion. You need only 25 minutes to prepare it. Chinese cabbage is one of my favorite vegetables. It's nutritious and available throughout the year. Look at this piece of art, giant cabbage. It is just an example of how much cabbage has been appreciated by people throughout the history. Chinese cabbage has a naturally sweet taste. It matches very well with meaty and fishy taste, as well as strong spices. For example, popular kimchi is made from Chinese cabbage. Especially, it has a very long shelf life in a refrigerator. Even if you don't have a refrigerator, it can be kept at least one month under minus five Celsius degree. During Corona time, people don't go shopping as often as before. Chinese cabbage is one of the best vegetables to buy and hoard. Okay, enough talking for now. Let's kick off cooking. First, let's look at all the ingredients for a four-person portion. We will need one cabbage, one carrot, four eggs, one piece of dried bean curd. Alternatively, you can use firm tofu, green onion, and ginger. For spice and flavor, we will need light soy sauce, wine, chili flakes, salt, sugar, and water. It's easy to mix up light and dark soy sauce. They look so similar on the package. The light soy sauce is to give delicious flavor, while dark soy sauce is to give color to uh, food. Soy sauce is the soul of East Asian cooking, so if you can, buy the most expensive one. Second, let's wash and cut. Cut the cabbage into four sections and slice the carrots. Take out one sheet of dried bean curd. This strange looking thing is sometimes called soya skin, comparable to cheese but made from soya milk instead of cow milk. It looks like a piece of paper, very crispy, easily crushed under pressure. It's rich in fat and protein. It is a very good alternative to tofu if you are tired of eating tofu over and over again. You can buy this in an Asian supermarket and try. Beat the eggs without adding salt, because salt will make the yellow color pale and gray. Slice the spring onion and then slice the ginger. Also, don't forget to prepare a cup of water of 400 milliliters. Okay, all set. These are what we need for cooking. Let's fry the egg and dried bean curd. Pan on high fire. The fire is nine on my induction stove. Add lots of oil and fry the egg until brown. Yes, be generous here, using more oil for vegetarian dishes than the meat dish. Because oil is important for vegetarian dishes, veggies don't contain oil at all. We will have a very big pot of stew in the end, so we need oil to enrich it.
Better keep the egg in big pieces to match the size of cabbage pieces. If the egg is too small, they will be swimming in the stew. It's hard to find them. Egg is nicely fried. Smells so delicious. Use the same pan on high fire. Put in some oil. Fry the dried bean curd until it wrinkles. You see the magic? The bean curd has curled up. If you use tofu, slice thinly and fry two sides of tofu until they get brown. Put these two fried stuff aside. Lower the fire to medium. Fry spring onion, ginger, carrots for about two minutes. Add chili flakes, half tablespoon, salt, half tablespoon, sugar, one quarter tablespoon. Light soy sauce, two tablespoon, and wine, one tablespoon. All the flavors and smells mingle and mingle in the pan, creating Maillard reaction. It smells so delicious. The flavor has been created. Let's add the cabbage, 400 ml water, and then the fried egg and fried tofu on top. Cover the pan with a lid. Turn the fire to medium-high fire. It's 7 on my induction stove. Cook for 15 minutes. The cabbage is becoming soft and juice is coming out, mingled together with the sauce in the pan. Look at the rich color in the pan. I really like it. It reminds me of harvest. After 5 minutes, turn around the fried bean curd, hide them into the bottom of the pan. Make sure they are soaking in enough water. Because the fried bean curd needs to absorb the soap and then becomes soft and tender. You can now take this opportunity checking the taste of the soup and adjust if necessary. Now 15 minutes have passed. Remember, we have left the green part of the onion? Now it's time to deploy it. Ooh la! The stew is ready. You can now finish with some sesame oil and serve it with white rice. The stew is a special dish, very cozy for winter because of the stew stays warm for a long time. The stew is filling and satisfying. For me, nothing can be more happy than sitting under the warm light of the dinner table and enjoy a warm cabbage stew with my families. While the snow is falling outside, both my stomach and heart are warmed up. Of course, the stew is not restricted to eat in winter. I made it in June, perfect for a summer dinner too. I hope this video is useful for you. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again.